Last April, my wife and I took a trip to London. We wanted to have fun and take a lot of photos. I wanted to take a lot of film shots but also have a digital camera in case I finish all my roles and need to take more pictures. So the choice of camera was kind of easy. I decided to take my Leica M240 and Leica M3 and two lenses. my trusty 35mm zoom micron spherical and this travel friendly Minolta 90mm f4. I took only 5 rolls of film with me, 2 rolls of HP5, 2 rolls of Acros and 1 Kodak Go. We got to Heathrow airport in the morning but we were so tired that we had to sleep for a few hours and finally we hit the downtown in the evening. So I decided to take it easy and shoot only digital for day one. The moment we got off the metro and stepped onto a street, I was bombarded with a very crowded scene and so many interesting characters. I took many shots, but I ended up liking only a handful of them. Then we walked to St. James's Park and I took a few images that I actually liked. From there we went to see the London Eye and Big Ben and took a walk along the Thames River. I took some photos of the London Eye and out of them I like this one the best. This shot of Big Ben feels like a cliche but I still like it because it's part of our trip memory. This shot is far from a cliche and I like it a lot. We were losing light so we walked to Trafalgar Square and on the way I took these photos all with my Leica M240 and the 35mm. I like Trafalgar Square a lot and I found it such a nice place for street photography. We took the rest of the night easy and enjoyed our time around Trafalgar Square. On day 2, I loaded my Leica M3 with some HP5 and I was ready to take some killer shots. But when we got to Tower Bridge, I felt like it's better to use my Leica M240. And out of many images that I took walking on the bridge, I only liked this one, which is with my M240 and the 90mm. Then we went to Sky Garden where I finally took my first film shots of the trip with my Leica M3 and the 90mm. After that, we went towards St. Paul's Cathedral where I took this super touristy shot. On the way there, I saw some interesting characters on the street. After St. Paul's, we walked to Millennium Bridge, one of those super touristy spots. And here are my photos of the famous Millennium Bridge. I also took a couple of film shots. Also around the bridge I put my Leica M3 to use and grab these shots. After that we quickly visited the Shakespeare Globe Theatre where I took these shots with my M240. And then we walked to Leadenhall Market and on the way we saw even more interesting characters on the street. 
I was using my 35 mm on the M240 and 90 mm on M3. Then I took this shot, which is very London style to me with the building, bicycle and the bus. But the highlight of image is the guy standing in the middle with a sketchbook and he was doing a pencil drawing of the building in front of him. I took another photo of him with the M3 and 90mm. We finally got to Leadenhall Market where uh, we took a break and I took another super touristy shot which again I really really like. After that we went to St. Dunstan in the east where I took this shot of my wife with Leica M3 and 35mm which is one of my favorite images of this trip. On the way there, I did some street photography with the M3 and 35mm. Then I took this shot with my M3 and 90mm that I don't remember exactly where. After Sandonstan, I finished my first roll of HP5 and loaded the second HP5 into M3. We came back to Trafalgar Square where I put the 35mm on Leica M3 and headed into the crowd for some easy street shots. These two photos are definitely among my favorite shots of the whole trip and I really love how the 35mm rendered the scene and the grain on HP5 is just lovely. And again, I saw another gentleman uh, drawing in his uh, sketchbook. I took two more shots in Trafalgar Square, which turned to be super touristy again. I finished my second roll of HP5 and we spent the rest of the night at Trafalgar Square and came back to our hotel late at night. We started day 3 at Hyde Park where I had the role of Acros in my Leica M3. I didn't take any good shots at Hyde Park but we had a killer English breakfast and headed to Natural History Museum. On the way to museum I saw this guy having a pet hawk and with my 90mm on M3 I quickly grabbed these two shots. We spent a lot of time in the museum and I took this image of the super famous veil skeleton called Hope. I took three shots with my M3 and 35mm and stitched them together to make this square shaped final image and I'm quite happy of how it turned out. After the museum we went to Buckingham Palace where we mostly were chilling in the sun and I took few images in including this one with M240 and the 90mm and this one with M3 and the 35mm. After that we took bus 24 for a 30 minute ride to Camden Town and on the bus I took several shots that turned out to be actually good. We quickly went to platform 9 and 3 quarter and then we visited the Beatles crossroad before calling it a night. Then on the way back to the hotel on metro I took this photo with my M3 and the 35mm and I consider it one of my good images of the trip. Day 4, we had rented a car and headed to see Stonehenge and also City of Bath. Stonehenge is such an interesting place to see, but taking uh, creative images at super famous spots like this is almost impossible. But at least with these photos, I tried. On the other side, there were these sheep and a little further these guys taking selfie probably with the stones in the background. 
After Stonehenge, we drove to City of Bath Beach. I found it a very cool place with touristy vibes. I took these street shots with my M240 and the 35mm and my M3 had the 90mm on it which I used to take these shots. Then I was taking photo of this hot air balloon and I met these super cool Leica guys. We chatted about our Leicas and it was so fun. Then I took a photo of this scene with both analog and digital. Uh, tell me which one you like better and why. After City of Bath, we drove back to London and uh, called it a night. For day 5, we had one clear goal in mind. Visiting the Royal Observatory and walking on the Prime Meridian. Royal Observatory was really interesting especially learning about John Harrison and his four attempts at making marine chronometer. Outside the observatory, I took this photo of people walking on the prime meridian. I took three shots with Leica M3 and made a panorama. With this photo of London skyline, I finished my second roll of Acros and switched to Kodak Gold. I really like the Kodak gold colors for this photo and of course they were selling a huge panorama of this scene in the gift shop so I had to buy it. They also had this super cool camera obscura showing a live view of the same scene. We spent some time in Greenwich Park and enjoyed the cherry blossom and I took uh, more photos but uh, nothing super interesting. After that we had some time so we drove to Harrods to visit the Leica store. The folks at Leica store were super nice to me and even let me try their 50mm Nocti looks on my camera. I took a few photos outside Harrods, which are not bad, but uh, nothing super special. After Harrods, we drove to Chinatown, which was super cool, but super crowded. And although I took a lot of photos, none of them uh, turned out to be really interesting. After Chinatown, we walked to Covent Garden and on the way there, I took some of my favorite shots with uh, Leica M240 and the 35mm. I really like this shot and I think this is one of my best street shots of this trip. When I start juggling everybody go crazy with the cheering! We took it easy for the rest of the night and chilled in Covent Garden. Day 5 was our last day in London and the next day we came back to Ottawa. I want to finish this video with this shot of this cool couple walking in Covent Garden. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram.